Hi. So now we are talking to talk about uh, in this particular video another very important high yielding topic for examination point of view and that is your SERMs. The full form is selective estrogen receptor modulators. So uh, selective estrogen receptor modulators, the term as the term suggests, you know, this is given modulators. So what are they going to do is actually they are going to act on estrogen receptors, right? But on some uh, areas where the estrogen receptors are present, they are going to act as agonists and on the other areas where the estrogen receptors are present, they are going to act as antagonists. You know, there are two kinds of receptors, alpha and beta estrogen receptors. So they are present in the female reproductive tract and you know, so they have uh, functions of the tissues like bone and on the blood, they have their functions. So. Uh, the receptors present here, when they are stimulated, they lead to certain effects. Just like the estrogen jo karega. And if they are opposed, then there will be certain other effects. Now, let's we are going to do here is it's a very, you know, a unique group of drugs which are like kahi pe they are agonists, kahi pe they are antagonists. So, wo har jaga, they are not completely working as the same thing. So, let's see. Uh, how interesting they are and what actually are they going to be useful in, right? So let's dive into that. So these are the various drugs. We have tamoxifen, we have tormifen, we have raloxifen or meloxifen, bezodoxifen. So these are the important selective estrogen receptor modulators that we have, right? And they are, we are using them in clinical practice. So as I said, somewhere they act as agonists, the other places they act as antagonists. Now let me ask you one question. Let's say you are, you know, a scientist who wants to develop a serm, okay, a uh, perfect serm, we discover karna hai, a perfect serm design. Kar hai. So what should be the features of that perfect drug? Let's actually, we are going to do this, the properties of an ideal serm. And how will you know that? Uh, sorry. And how will you know that is only when you know what are the effects of estrogen on various or, uh, organs. If you know the effect of estrogen on various organs, pata hai, we can make out whether this is a good effect of estrogen or this is not a good effect of estrogen. So if the effect is good, so we'll make a serm which is agonistic on that particular uh, action. Let's say, for example, bone. Bone may estrogen helps in the bone formation. It's a good effect. So, if we design an ideal serm, then we will design a serm design that the bone uska action would be just like estrogen. That means estrogen agonistic action. Or let's say, on the other hand, on the endometrium, the effect of estrogen kya hota hai? it increases the hyperplasia, hypertrophy. So, if long term ke liye we are giving estrogen, that can lead to endometrial cancer. So, it's a bad effect. So, what we would like, jo hum ideal drug bana rahe, hum cancer causing drug to nahi banana chayenge. So, what we will do, we will, we would like that that serum should have a property of having an antagonistic ulta effect on chahiye endometrial pe, hyperplasia cause nahi karna chahiye. So, that would be an ideal serum. So, let's see what are the properties of an ideal serum and what are the result of those properties of an ideal serum. So, for example, on the breast. Now, what is the effect of estrogen on the breast tissue? What is the effect of estrogen on the breast tissue? Okay, we have seen this. Now, uh, breast pe, just a certain tumors on the breast. Ke. Wo kya hote hai? They are responsive to? So, many tumors are actually estrogen receptor positive tumors or estrogen receptor responsive tumors. This means that uh, it helps in proliferation of the breast tissue. So, some tumors, uh, they are dependent on estrogen. So, if estrogen is more, there is a risk of developing breast cancers. So, whether we would want your ideal drug to have that kind of effect or no? No. So, it should not have a estrogenic effect on breast. So, it should have an anti-estrogenic effect. Ideal sum. So, that there is decrease in the risk of breast cancers. Okay? Endometrium, we have already talked about that endometrium proliferation karati hai estrogen. So, if we give more estrogen in a high dose, mein denge, to there is a chance of developing endometrial cancer. So, again, we would like it to have an anti-estrogenic effect. Hai? So, there is a less chance of endometrial cancer. 
vagina now estrogen on the vaginal tissue it prevents dryness theek hai so uh, it's a good thing because otherwise dryness jab zyada hoti hai it can lead to pain and you know it can lead to a lot of infections so vaginal dryness is not something that we desire so we would like to it to have a estrogen equivalent because it uh, doesn't allow the dryness to occur so there is because of its estrogen effect there is decreased dryness bone estrogen is actually a bone forming hormone so it helps in the formation of the bone so property honi chahiye estrogen ek because it increases the bone formation simple so uh, you are understanding right so if we know the actions of estrogen we can actually tell what should be an ideal serum like theek hai lipid profile now estrogen ka effect kya hota lipid profile pe it increases the good cholesterol and decreases your bad cholesterol so it is cardio protective in nature so we would like to have a drug which is similar to this effect so that it is cardio protective theek hai coagulation factors effects on the blood basically factor 2 7 9 10 jo liver se usually bante so estrogen increases the coagulability increases the synthesis so kya hoga agar zyada estrogen hoga so blood mein clotting factors zyada honge to clotting ke chances badh jayenge jab clot formation ke chances badh jayenge iska matlab there is formation of thrombus embolus so dvt deep venous thrombosis embolize to uske uh, danger badh jata hai to wo hame nahi chahiye so what we we like to have it should have an anti estrogen effect so that there is decrease in the chance of deep venous thrombosis or thromboembolisms right so ideal serum should have these properties that it should have an anti estrogenic effect on the breast on the endometrium on the blood or the coagulation factors but it should work just like estrogen on the vagina on the bone and effect on the lipid profile right ye ideal serum hai but ideal cheez hoti nahi hai so ideal abhi tak aisa koi serum nahi hai jiske sare ke sare effects are matching to this so we have some serums which are near to these but not perfect theek hai so let's see what jo abhi humne serums ke examples kiye the so what properties do these serums have right so for example we come to first is tamoxifen citrate or tomifen they have similar effects so they are agonist on the bone you see they are agonist on the blood and they are agonist on the endometrium now let's see if you remember jo humne pehle kiya एगोनिस्टिक इफेक्ट ऑफ बोन अच्छी बात है कि बुरी बात है अच्छी बात है क्योंकि इट इंक्रीजेज द बोन फॉर्मेशन दैट्स अ गुड थिंग एगोनिस्टिक इफेक्ट ऑन ब्लड अच्छा कि बुरा अच्छा नहीं क्योंकि इट इंक्रीजेज द चांसेस ऑफ डीबीटी एगोनिस्टिक इफेक्ट ऑन एंडोमीट्रियम अगेन नॉट सो गुड बिकॉज इट इंक्रीजेज द चांसेस ऑफ एंडोमीट्रियल कैंसर एंटागनिस्ट ऑन ब्रेस्ट good thing because it decreases the chance of or risk of breast cancers so jo aapka tamoxifen hai it is actually approved kahan pe use karte hain for the treatment of the breast cancers especially which ones are er positive jo estrogen receptor ko respond karte hain to we are giving them Uh, this particular drug because it is antagonist on the estrogen receptors and it is helpful in the breast cancers whether it is post menopausal perimenopausal anywhere it it has a very good uh, use in this but now the question comes is ka disadvantage so you can see the disadvantage kya hai iska iska disadvantage ye ho sakta hai this one and iska disadvantage ho sakta hai increase in the cancer for uh, you know endometrial proliferation so that can be another issue with these drugs okay so that's one problem coming to raloxifen so uh, i hope you understood here how we can make their uses and side effects if we know their actions okay so action yahan pe breast cancer ka hai aur agonistic effect ki wajah se usme thoda hame dhyan rakhna padta hai ki baki problem na shuru ho jaye endometrial cancers and blood raloxifen raloxifen on the bone agonistic again increases the formation of bone good thing again agon blood pe agonistic hai that means it has a risk of dvt that's not good 
लिपिड प्रोफाइल पे एगोनिस्ट होना अच्छी बात है बिकॉज इट इंक्रीज द एच डी एल एंड इट इज कार्डियो प्रोटेक्टिव एंटेगनिस्ट ऑन ब्रेस्ट एंड एंडोमेट्रियम बोथ आर गुड बिकॉज इट विल डिक्रीज द कैंसर चांसेस सो देखा जाए तो रिलॉक्सिफिन कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज इन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर और एंडोमेट्रियल कैंसर बट करेंटली अभी अप्रूव नहीं हो इट इट हेजन बीन फाउंड टू बी दैट इफेक्टिव येट बट जो अभी तक इसका यूज अप्रूव हुआ है जहां पर इफेक्टिव है दैट इज एयर बोन फॉर्मेशन मतलब सो कहाँ पे यूज करेंगे जहां पे बोन फॉर्मेशन अच्छी नहीं है दैट इज योर कंडीशन कॉल्ड एज ऑस्टियोप्रोसेस सो यूजली यू सी इन पोस्ट मीनो पॉजल ऑस्टियोप्रोसेस में क्या होता है आफ्टर मैनो पॉज इज डिक्रीज इन द लेवल ऑफ ईस्ट्रोजन सो बिकॉज ईस्ट्रोजन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द बोन फॉर्मेशन सो मैनो पॉज के बाद बिकॉज ईस्ट्रोजन लेवल डिक्लाइन इन द फीमेल तो दे आर एट मोर रिस्क ऑफ डिवेलपिंग ऑस्टियोप्रोसेस तो ऐसी ड्रग्स हम तब देते हैं जो कि एनहैंस करे बोन फॉर्मेशन so one of the drug is riloxifen though the drug of choice for osteoporosis remains bisphosphonates but ye bhi approved hai for osteoporosis in postmenopausal women and <coughs> isme jo major problem aayegi uh, sorry major problem aayegi that will be again the increased chance of dvd theek hai that's about in riloxifen Coming to the next one, which is ormeloxifen. Ormeloxifen agonist at bone. It's a good effect. Improves the bone formation. Antagonist at this and this would be breast and endometrium. Means decrease in the CA. ठीक है? Now, ormeloxifen को का दूसरा नाम that we know it uh, from is scent chromin. And why is it so important? This is actually a contraceptive. it's a contraceptive and this one this drug is manufactured it is made in india cdri lucknow that's why it is important uh, especially for the indian scenario its ka main use actually one use is contraceptive as i told you and the second use is dysfunctional uterine bleeding dysfunctional uterine bleeding excessive bleeding because of its antagonistic effect on the endometrium we can use it in this because it is excessive bleeding and uh, endometrium zyada hai hyper proliferated hai and there is excessive bleeding from there so where we use this drug because it has an antagonistic effect on the endometrium it is approved for this as well as this but its major use is as a contraceptive major use is as a contraceptive the next one we have is bezidoxifen it's a newer term bezidoxifen and again this one is an agonist at bone it's a good thing and is an antagonist at the endometrium again it's a good thing but it's a relatively newer drug and it is used also approved just like riloxifen for use in post menopausal osteoporosis and the benefit is that it will not lead to any danger of endometrial cancers matlab ek cheez ke liye use karo aur dusra cheez develop ho jaye aisa problem nahi hona chahiye so that's why bezidoxifen has been uh you know it is found to be useful just like riloxifen ke other side effects pe aate so bezidoxifen actually uh is also approved because this one is a good thing in this and post menopausal osteoporosis mein use karte because of the effect on the bone so if you see here all these terms there how are they used if you have to remember just see the basics jo hai basics aapko estrogen ke uses pata hona chahiye so once you know the sorry uh, actions pata hona chahiye so once you know the actions of estrogen you know ki jahan pe uska action beneficial hai kahan pe uska action beneficial nahi hai so when you are the terms jo hai whether they are going to be effective in certain areas or they are going to cause a problem in the other areas that you will know only if you know the actions of estrogen so that's why the action is the base agar aapko pata ho so once you know that and you know that serms agar is area mein present hai for example jaise humne baat ki breast endometrium vagina bone lipid profile and coagulation factors so once you know the actions of estrogen on these tissues you can make out which is a good effect and which is not a good effect and a serm should actually have a agar is pe agonistic hai to achhi baat hai ki nahi hai agar antagonistic hai to achhi baat hai to nahi hai तो जितने भी हमारे सर्म्स विच वी हैव डेवलप्ड नाउ दे आर एक्टिंग ऑन दीज टिश्यूज सो वेदर दे आर एगोनिस्ट सर्टन टिश्यूज और दे आर एंटेगोनिस्ट आर दी अदर टिश्यूज एंड हाउ दे हैव बीन डिराइव का यूज कैसे हमने निकाला है बिकॉज ऑफ देयर सम प्रॉपर्टी 
which is good whether it is on the bone whether it is uh, they have an antagonist effect on the breast or the endometrium or uh, whether they have an agonist action on the bone as i said already so that's how you derive their uses so what i always tell is that your basics need to be really strong to understand the drugs once you have an if uh, you know knowledge about the actions of a particular hormone or a molecule it's very easy to understand their use as well as the adverse we don't have to really mug it up right so this was my whole actually um, you know the purpose of making a video on this because uh, you know i posted on my instagram uh, adverse effect and actions of estrogen and uh, how we can actually know the actions and make out the adverse effects so this those same actions have been utilized in serms also so one basic concept you solve so many questions for you in the pharmacology right so i hope this was a useful video if yes please press the like button as well as the subscribe button and i and i will keep coming up with more videos in future thank you so much